In this video, we will solve a complex SQL entry question. The question is, Julia asked her students to create some coding challenges. Now, write a query to print the hacker ID, name and the total number of challenges created by each student. Sort your result by the total number of challenges in descending order. Now, here is the tricky part. If more than one student created the same number of challenges, then sort the result by hacker ID. Hacker ID is basically the student ID. If more than one student created the same number of challenges and the count is less than the maximum number of challenges created, then exclude those students or hacker ID from the result. Now, these are the two tables which we are going to use, which is the hackers table and challenges table. And also while solving the query, we will split this question into two parts. The first part is where we will find the total number of challenges created by each student and in the second part only we will deal with the specific condition because once i create this query output or the first part output then i can explain with that part what we are going to modify or what we are going to change with respect to that output to obtain our final output so these are the two tables which we are going to use the first table is hackers table let me query the table and let us see the schema this is the hackers table which consists of two columns. The first column is hacker ID and the second column is name. Hacker ID is basically the student ID and the name column corresponds to the student name. And in the second table which is the challenges table we have two columns. The columns are challenge ID and hacker ID. Hacker ID is again the student ID only and challenge ID is the ID of challenges created by each student. Now, the first part of question is write a query to print the hacker ID name and the total number of challenges created by each student. For that, now we are not going to take anything from the hackers table because in our final output, it is given that we require the name of each student. Only at that time, we are going to take the hackers table. So here, we are not going to touch the hackers table. Instead, we will take the challenges table to, to find the answer to first part of our query. Write a query to print the hacker ID and the total number of challenges created by each student. This is pretty simple. So what we can do is we will write a select close. Now we want the hacker underscore ID column. Now we are going to count the number of challenges based on each hacker ID. That is challenge underscore ID as we will give the column name as challenge count. And this is taken from the table challenges. And now finally, we will give a group by close based on the hackers ID. Hacker underscore ID column. Now, if we execute this result, we will get the output for the first part of our query. So this is the output for the first part of our query. Now, we have a condition in the second part of our query. If more than one student created the same number of challenges, then sort the result by hacker ID. So that is okay. We can sort the result by hacker ID by providing a simply simple order by close. That is order by hacker underscore ID. Let it be in ascending order. Now we have sorted the result based on the hacker ID when challenge count is same. This is not correct. I have to make one more change because first we have to sort the result based on challenge count challenge underscore count in descending order then sort the result based on hacker id if it's equal now we will get the result in such a manner execute this we will get the result in such a manner where we first sort the result based on challenge count and if challenge count is equal then the result will be for that particular challenge count will be sorted for hacker id in ascending order now the second part is if more than one student created the same number of challenges and the count is less than the maximum number of challenges created then exclude those student or hacker id from the result now in order to explain this i have created the same result in excel let us go to that and see what we are going to do now this is the output which we have obtained in our pre previous query and if we inspect this result we can see that 
hacker id 192 that is 12299 is having a challenge count of 6 and the second hacker id which is 34856 is having a challenge count of 6 and coming down hacker id 70978 and 79345 is having challenge count of 4 each and this is the records which we have to exclude from our final output that is the condition if more than one student created the same number of challenges that is in both the cases students are creating same number of challenges in the first two records that is six and the third and fourth record that is four and the count is less than maximum number of challenges created here the maximum number of challenges created is six so we don't have to remove these records because given that only if it's less than maximum number of challenges created we have to exclude those records and finally then exclude those student or hacker id from the final result so we have to exclude these two hacker ids from our final result and our final result should be in such a format where we have only four records and the condition is satisfied now let us go back to ssms and see how we can achieve this and in the same query now we are going to write a count function let me remove this order by clause for now we will add add that in a later stage now i am going to consider the count function as a window function and is going to create a new column based on the challenge count column let us do that count one and using an over by clause sorry over clause and the partition is based on partition by the challenge count column but i am going to use this function which is count of challenge id copy this paste it here close this and we'll give a name as new window or new flag new flag the column name is new flag now if i run this query we will get a new column called as new underscore flag where it is counting the number of challenges so corresponding to 6 the challenge count is appearing two times and corresponding to 4 the challenge is challenge count is appearing two times corresponding to 3 it is appearing only one time and corresponding to challenge count 1 it is appearing only one time similarly i am going to create one more column based on the rank function rank open and close parenthesis over now here i'm not going to create any partition instead i'm only going to use a order by close order by challenge id so instead of using challenge id column directly i will copy the function count of challenge id paste it here in descending order as new flag or new rank i will give the column name as new rank now execute this and see what is the result that we are going to get now we have created new column which is the new flag column and new rank column now let us keep this entire query inside a cte open and close parenthesis now we filter the result such that we will get only the required output in our final result so we will take hacker underscore id from the t1 cte and we require challenge underscore count comma for now we will take other two columns also which is flag and rank column later we will remove that that is rank column and this is taken from t1 ct and now i am going to apply a where clause where new underscore flag equal one or new underscore rank equal one now what will happen is this records or this result will be filtered such that we will get these two records where new rank equal to one and these two records where new flag equal to one and these records corresponding to challenge count four each will be excluded from our final result now execute this and see what is the result we are going to get executed and now we can see that in our final output we only have hacker id and challenge count corresponding to new flag one and new flag rank it is an or condition so either of the records will be selected and also 
in our question it's given that we require the name of the student in our final output so we will make the modification to this part of the query now we will join create a left join with t1 from the hackers table we will give an alias name as h on t1 dot hacker id equal h dot hacker id and here also we will give the alias name because otherwise it will give us an error challenge count we don't have to give any alias name because challenge count name is unique in the t1 ct then the second column or the other column which we require is the name column which is taken from the hackers table h dot name now also we will order the result by challenge count in descending order and if two challenge counts are same then we have to order the result based on hacker id in ascending order and this hacker id also will take from the t1 ct now execute this and we will get all the required columns in our output plus the order in which we require our final output execute this and this was the final output which we are looking for uh, let me copy this and see if we are getting the same result or not i'm going to paste it here now we can see that we have the same result over here plus the name of students thanks for watching and if you like this video subscribe for more such videos thank you